Hi, in this video, we will go through CCNP Security 35701 SCOR, implementing and operating Cisco Security Core technologies. This exam tests your knowledge of implementing and operating core security technologies, including network security, cloud security, content security, endpoint protection and detection, secure network access, visibility and enforcement. Let's look at question one. What does the Cloud Lock Apps Firewall do to mitigate security concerns from an application perspective? Now, Cisco Cloud Lock is a cloud native cloud access security broker that helps you move to the cloud safely. For app security, the Cloud Lock Apps Firewall discovers and controls cloud apps connected to your corporate environment. You can use a cloud-sourced community trust reading for individual apps, and you can ban or allow list them based on the risk. So it discovers and controls cloud apps that are connected to a company's corporate environment. So we're going to choose A to be the correct answer for question one. Question two, what is the difference between deceptive phishing and spear phishing? The deceptive phishing is the most common type of phishing scam. These scams occur when a recognized source emails you in order to compromise information. Whereas a spear phishing is more sophisticated version of deceptive phishing, which uses your information in order to trick you into thinking you have a relationship with the sender. So deceptive phishing campaigns don't target victims individually. They are sent to hundreds, sometimes thousands of recipients. But spear phishing, in contrast, is highly targeted and targets a single individual. So the main difference is a spear phishing campaign is aimed at a specific, specific person, whereas deceptive phishing targets a group of um, recipients or a group of people. So we choose A for this question. Question three, what is the function of Cisco Cloud Lock for data security? For data security of a Cisco Cloud Lock, the function is DLP. Data loss protection, or I'm sorry, prevention, and DLP for short. DLP, prevention, yeah. And this technology that continues monitors cloud environment to detect and secure sensitive information. It provides countless out of box policies as well as highly tunable custom policies. So we are going to choose um, DLP. So D is the correct answer for question three. Question four, there are individual sites specified to be blacklisted in Cisco Umbrella. All right, for Cisco Umbrella, when a domain needs to be blocked, we can reveal the destination lists under Policy settings. We'll go to the policy settings and then we go to a destination list. So those are the lists you or your administrator in your organization has created. 
and you can use them to blacklist all the objects you don't want them in. So we choose uh, B, destination lists. Question 5. How does Cisco Stealth Watch Cloud provide security for cloud environments? For hybrid network security, the Cisco Stealth Watch Cloud extends your visibility to detect threats across your cloud. So, B is the right one. It delivers visibility and threat detection. And A? A stealth watch cloud provides secure cloud analysis alert alerts for DNS abuse, but not protection. C. It prevents exfiltration of sensitive data. Stealth watch cloud can only provide detection for exfiltration of data, but cannot prevent it. So C is wrong, not prevent. It can only detect. And D, it facilitates secure connectivity between public and private networks. Now, Stealth Watch Cloud detects encrypted threats in the private network and the public cloud. Also provides public cloud monitoring and private network monitoring, but no facilitation secure connectivity between the public and the private network. So it does not. So B is the only one that is correct for question 5. Question 6. What is the primary role of Cisco email security appliance? So this is a ESA. So the ESA for short. It can protect the email infrastructure and employees who use email at work by filtering unsolicited and malicious emails before it reaches the user. Cisco's ESA can easily integrate into existing email infrastructures within a high degree of flexibility. It does this by acting as a mail transfer agent, MTA for short, mail transfer agent within the email delivery train. So C, mail transfer agent, is the one for question six. Question seven. What is the characteristic of storm, a traffic storm control behavior? Okay, if enable the broadcast and broadcast traffic exceeds the level within the interval, traffic storm control drops all broadcast traffic. If we enable multicast and multicast traffic exceeds the level within the interval, traffic storm control drops all traffic. If we enable broadcast and multicast, the broadcast traffic exceeds within the interval, Traffic storm control drops all broadcast traffic. If we enable broadcast and multicast, and multicast traffic exceeds within the interval, the traffic storm control drops all the traffic. To be brief, question A is the right one. Traffic storm control drops all broadcast and multicast traffic if the combined traffic exceeds the level within the interval. So we are going to choose um, A for the correct answer. Question 8. Which policy is used to capture host information on the Cisco Firepower Next Generation Intrusion Prevention System? IPS. The Firepower system uses network discovery and identity policies to collect host application and user data for traffic on your network. 
so B is the right one. We use network discovery to do this, to capture the host information. And A, access control, can be used to protect others from disruption, but not as functional as uh, capturing host information. Intrusion, it can provide maximum protection for your network assets, but not this uh, capturing host information. Correlation can trigger and generate correlation events when the system generates discovery events or detects user activity. Still not as functional as this capturing. So B is the right one for question 8. Next, let's look at question 9. When web policies are configured in Cisco Umbrella, what provides the ability to ensure that domains are blocked when they host malware, command, and control, phishing, and more threats? The answer is A. Security category blocking. So umbrella security categories are categories of security defense. These categories are used in creating policies and in viewing reports for when things are blocked. We also have file analysis. This one is the feature that provides file inspection and threat grid malware analysis. So this is not very related to the questions. And C, application control. This one allows blocking of curated list of uh, applications from across the web. So it is not very relevant. And content category can block and custom our own list of categories to block to be blocked. So this is not the correct function or feature regards to the questions. So A is the right one. And this is it for the question nine. And we have this question 10. Which information is required when adding a device to Firepower Management Center, F and C. And for this um, adding a device, when we add the F and C as a manager, we will need to supply a registration key of course, we need to provide like username and password, but this is the most important. And the key, the key thing that you need to um, key in or provide when you're adding a device, and the format or the CRI in the command line is uh, configure. Manager at and plus uh, the IP address plus the registration key. It could be anything that you that you are uh, pre uh, defined. Let's see below graph. So this is uh, ASDM, the graphic, and in the remote. Management we see as a firepower configuration, and we need to key in the registration key, which is the must thing that you need to have or define. All right, so this is uh, the answer question for question ten. Why choose Spoto? Founded in 2003, 
Spoto is an outstanding online IT training institute for 17 years. We offer 100% real and verified Cisco CCNA, CCNP, CCIE Lab, PMP, AWS, CISM, CISA, Huawei, and other IT exam practice tests and study materials to help thousands of candidates around the world to pass their IT exams on the first try. Our Spoto products have many advantages. 100% real exam answers and questions, 100% pass guaranteed, real simulated exam environment, free update for dump stability, less questions with highest accuracy, latest passing report feedback, 724 technical and professional tutors support. With expertise and strength, Spoto has made cooperation with Cisco, Huawei, Starnet, and other well-known network equipment suppliers and system integrator at home and abroad. Also, Spoto has close cooperation with Tencent.com, one of the IT giants in China and verified as the official IT certification training institute by Tencent Cross. If you want to get the latest news of your training courses and IT certification products, you can visit our official website www.spotodumps.com, www.spotoclub.com, www.ccie.spoto.net. Or you can search Spoto, S P O T O, on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to subscribe our channel to get the information.